I had an odd problem where the driver's seat in my Dakota would not lock into a normal position. It would only lock into the farthest reclined position or go all the way forward, nothing in between. Needless to say, it made it very uncomfortable to drive. I had to use a pillow to brace my back to be able to drive without sitting up the whole time. Luckily I noticed a roll pin lying on the floor behind the driver's seat, like the one shown here. It occurred to me that this must be the problem. So we started by removing the seats from the truck. I have the bench style bucket seats in my truck, but I'm sure the mechanism is very similar since most manufacturers like to use the same parts for different styles. I am confident that what I'll show you here would work for the bench seat as well. The bench slash bucket seat is built into the bench style frame and comes out of the truck all in one piece, meaning the passenger seat, the armrest assembly, along with the driver's seat. Once we removed the seat, we removed the covers and padding so we could get a better look at the frame and determine what the cause of the problem was. Removing the covers and the foam pads is not that hard as long as you're careful. The covers are simply attached to the pad with Velcro and can be removed easily. Take note of the way the clips and holders are held in place so that you can return them to the same position. After doing this job, I realized that it was possible not to have to remove all of the covers, but simply the seat covers on the bottom. You could probably also do the work without removing the seat covers padding at all. However, it does make access much easier. The tools used to do this job are basic. A Phillips screwdriver to remove some of the screws holding the seat cover, and to replace the roll pin in the seat, you'll simply need a hammer, a center punch, and some sort of steel rod is also helpful. You should be able to get an assortment of replacement roll pins from your local hardware store. You will simply need to cut them to the proper length. In this first picture, the red arrows show the location of the locking mechanisms and the roll pin. The red circles simply show the inside view of the spring-loaded shaft as an example. Again, the area marked with the arrow is where the locking mechanisms in question are located. If you lean the seat over on its back, the second picture shows you a view of the locking mechanism and the end of the spring-loaded shaft inside. Since this picture is a little blurry, the third picture highlights the different components that make up this assembly. The blue arrow is the bottom of the spring-loaded shaft, the red arrow indicates where the roll pin goes, and the green lines indicate the collar that holds the two together. The most difficult part is getting the spring-loaded shaft lined up with the hole in the collar so that you can reinsert the roll pin. The fourth picture shows these highlighted areas again, but this time from the side view and with the roll pin now reinserted. This shows how the three components must be realigned to enable the roll pin to be reinserted. The fifth and sixth pictures also show the roll pin reinserted from a front view and a side view to further clarify the positioning. The seventh and final picture simply shows a view from the inside that shows that there is an access hole that allows you to get to the roll pin in case you need to realign the pin from the inside. All in all, it's not that difficult to do this job. It's just time-consuming, so good luck.